This is a Fender Made in Mexico standard strap. Now I'm not much of a Stratocaster person, but I needed to own one like this to find that out. This guitar was made in 2006 during Fender's 60th anniversary celebrations. It's got a rosewood fretboard, a maple neck, and an alder body. I bought this guitar used for a really good deal because it was very apparent that it was heavily played, not just from the dents and scratches, but from the worn frets that were resulting in buzz. I took it to a tech and had the frets dressed, and that gave them some more life. I even scalloped the top 7 frets, and that became one of my favourite features. But I played it until it got buzz again. I decided instead of a refret, I'd get a totally new neck, and not just to stop there, but to change the pickups as well as the bridge, and turning this regular strat that I would never use live, into a super strat that I'd be happy to play a gig with. So here's the new warm-up neck. It's baked maple with an Indian rosewood fretboard and 22 stainless steel frets. It's a reverse headstock, and I know some people don't really like that, but I like it because it means that I don't have to change my wrist angle when I go from playing to tuning. Warmoth installed the nut too, so it's pretty much ready to go out of the box. It's also got this very cool truss rod adjustment option. So you do the bulk of the adjustment before you put the neck on at the bottom of the neck, and then you make smaller adjustments from the side of the neck. It's very convenient. So onto the pickups. I opted to go for a pre-wired pickguard from 920D Custom. I'm not good at wiring, so I'd rather leave that to the pros. This is a Joe Satriani setup with a mojo in the bridge and a satch track in the neck. For wiring, it's got a high pass filter on the volume to keep the highs as they roll the volume down, and a coil split on the tone with a three-way switch. There's some of the wiring that I definitely would not be able to do. So the next upgrade is the bridge. This is a Wilkinson Trem that I took off a uh, C-word guitar. It's a direct drop-in replacement for a Strat though, so it'll be fine. It's got steel saddles, and the screws don't stick up and poke your hand while playing like on the normal strat, so it's a big bonus. It's uh, got a big steel block too. For tuners, these also came off the Seaward guitar, these black reverse headstock Grovers. They should do great. So these are all the parts that we'll be replacing, not too much when you look at it like this. So yeah, let's get rid of the strings. And taking off the pick guard. This is what a Mexican pick guard looks like. Uh, I'll be selling all the parts I take off this guitar on Reverb, so the link below in the description is my store. It's a Reverb affiliate link too, so if you buy something on the side, I get 1% of your purchase, which will help out uh, currently because all the gigs are gone. So that sucks. Off with the neck. So this neck, it was a good neck. Also on reverb. Taking the bridge off next, six screws hold it down. And now we can see the big block that was introduced in 2006, which is the year of this guitar. Uh, it might actually be a bit bigger than the Wilkinson bridge block, but just didn't suit me. Right, so this is all that's left. Not much actually, a lot less than I thought. Pretty much just the body. I had an accident. These are the two ground wires, I'll solder them to the volume pot to ground them. Okay, the soldering's done, ground wires are attached. I forgot to replace the claw with the Wilkinson one, so this is that, there's the ground wire attached. Now putting on the output jack. And onto the bridge. It's a direct drop-in replacement for the Strat, so it fits perfectly. Voiding a warranty. The bridge is screwed in and so is the pickguard. And I've installed the springs in the back too. Time for the neck. 
and it's a perfect fit because War Mod make licensed by Fender necks and bodies. I really like the reverse headstock look on this. Grover tuners, still need to screw them in though. So because it's a new neck, I want to have the feel of rolled edges. So a little bit of steel wool and I've taped over the pickups. It's a super fine steel wool, uh, just back and forth until it feels comfortable. Last thing is strings. Uh, here's the Dadario player circle code for whichever one of you can claim it first. And now let's hear it. So overall, I'm very happy. I like how a guitar that reminded me of Hank Marvin now reminds me of Brad Gillis. The stainless steel frets give it a brightness, but I like that because it keeps a stratty character. I love how the reverse headstock changes the look of the guitar dramatically. I still need to install string trees, and I need a fret wrap to mute the string noise, but I like it. The bridge is comfy and I was pleasantly surprised by the pickups. I really enjoyed the neck pickup in particular. It was a strat and now it's a super strat. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment below. See you next time.